Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be going over everything that I keep on my iPad. I'm going to be going through all of the apps, how I organize it, where I get my backgrounds, everything like that. If you guys are new here, I'd love for you to stick around, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and want to see more videos like this one. So this is the iPad that I have. To be honest, I don't know all of the specs and everything. I got it so long ago that I haven't really used it since I was in college, which was, what, like a year ago now, I want to say, that I finished. So I haven't used it in a while. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and go into like the about, I bet you it'll tell me. Okay, so this is the iPad Pro. It's the 11 inch. I have it in the space gray color. Um, and then the case that I have is just from Amazon. I will go ahead and link it. It's one of the, whoops, I just almost lost my pencil there. <laughs> it's one of the ones that like snaps shut and turns off your iPad at the same time. And then you can also like roll it back, which is what I like to do. Cause I use this a lot when I'm like taking baths and stuff. Um, and then you have this little like kickstand on the back. Um, and then the back of it is also plastic. So you can still see through the cover itself, but it still protects it gives you all the protection and everything that you need. So I will go ahead and go through my Amazon um, orders and find it and link it down below for you guys if you guys want to order the same one and check it out. I also got the Apple Pencil that comes with it. It's just magnetic, sticks to the side like this. I think it's just like original Apple Pencil, to be honest, I'm not sure. Um, I know all like the techie stuff when it comes to my computers and my phone, but I haven't used the iPad enough to like fully remember all of the details because I got it so long ago. Um, but yeah, those are all of the techie-ish details on it. Um, and then let's just go ahead and get right into everything that I keep on my iPad. Okay, so this is the lock screen that I have for my iPad. I found this on Pinterest. So if you guys want to have the exact same one, I will go ahead and have my Pinterest linked down below and you guys can go ahead and download it. But yeah, I just like how it says, how bad can a good girl get? I thought it was super cute. Um, the whole good vibes only. Just a really cool collage. I have no idea who made it. I didn't make it. I'm not taking credit for it, um, but it is pinned on my Pinterest if you guys want to check it out. I also have a ton of others pinned on there as well. So swipe up and this is what my home screen looks like um, and then if you swipe over I have one more screen over there so my background is also from Pinterest if you guys want to check that out it is linked on my Pinterest um, I will go ahead and have my Pinterest linked down below I get so many questions on screensavers and everything like that anytime I do a what's on my iPhone so I have so many pinned and saved on there for you guys if you guys need some inspiration or something new for your phone or your ipad or your desktop computer or your laptop whatever it may be i have a ton saved on there okay so the very first thing i have up here is my google calendar i use my google calendar a ton um i get a ton of questions on how i organize and do everything as you can see everything is pretty much separated by a certain color and whatnot so i will do a full breakdown of how exactly i organize everything on my Google Calendar because um, it's way too much to just go over in this video. Um, but I do have it synced on my phone, my iPad, and then also pretty much any other device that I have. So anytime I log in, I can see my calendar and everything that's due and whatnot and all that stuff. So that is basically my Google Calendar. That's the calendar that I use to organize my entire life. Um, and then we have my Gmail app, which is basically my personal email, my business email, um, my YouTube email, my actual shop email, literally all the emails that I manage, um, communicate with people. I prefer the Gmail app. Everything is just so much easier. Okay. So next up we have my Shopify app. My Shopify app is basically how I host my online store. If you guys didn't know, I have an online shop where I sell, um, homemade jewelry and stuff like that. This is basically what the shop looks like. It's all um, through Shopify. It makes having a business and a website so easy. Um, I have jewelry, I sell crystals, and I also sell presets on there. So this is basically my website where everything kind of comes together. Um, it was so easy to customize through Shopify. I got my domain through Shopify. Like everything is just so easy. So if you guys are ever wanting to start a business and don't know where to start, um, I feel like Shopify is one of the easiest and best ways 
to kind of get started with that. Then next up we have my Google Drive app, which is obviously connected to my Gmail. I use that a ton if I'm doing like links and stuff or if I need to sign contracts and send it over to brands, stuff like that. Um, it's really easy to have and keep on my iPad. Then we have Google Keep, which is basically where I keep all of my notes. This is basically how I keep track of like all of my notes and everything. It's very similar to the notes app that they have across all of the Apple devices, but I use Gmail and Google Drive, my Google Calendar. I use a lot of the Google um, apps, so this is another one that I really like. So basically, this is kind of what it looks like, um, very similar to the overall notes app. So if you go into it, um, you can do like a title right here, and then these are just like the other things that you can add in. So if you guys didn't know, I created merch. I never really talked about it, um, but all of the hoodies and t-shirts and stuff that you see underneath all of my videos are the merch that I created. Um, they're kind of just random things that I thought fit the vibe of my channel. Um, I was bored one day and just kind of decided to put all of that together. I have ordered a bunch of it. I'm still waiting on it to come in, um, but yeah. All the stuff underneath my videos is basically my merch. So when I was trying to think of like cute things to put on my hoodies, those were a few of the things that came to my mind. So basically very similar layout to the notes app. Um, I really enjoy it. And then it syncs obviously with all of your Google and Gmail kind of things. And then next up on here, we have Procreate. This is an app that I'm not too familiar with, but I would like to spend more time learning how to use it. Um, I was watching another what's on my iPad video and someone was like kind of coloring in um, like a photo of themselves and turning it into like a cartoon kind of thing. I'd love to figure out how to do that. I was literally just messing around with that earlier. By no means am I good at that at all. This is also a great app if you want to do like handwritten stuff for your videos. I've used that a few times before to make little like titles and stuff across my screen, stuff like that. I honestly don't know too much about it. I still have so much that I need to learn, but it is a fun app to just kind of mess around with. I do believe you have to pay for it. I think it's like 10 bucks, which really wasn't that bad. I bought it a while ago, but still need to figure out how to use that for sure. All right, the next one that I have down here is my Ann Chill folder. Basically has Disney and Netflix. Um, I still need to download Hulu on there and Amazon Prime, but basically, you know, the whole saying of like Disney and chill or Netflix and chill. Yeah, you guys get where I'm going with that. Um, I also get a ton of questions about how I make my titles look like that. So basically, if you are editing the like text up here, all you have to do is put a space in between each letter and it turns out like that. It's no fancy font or anything like that. That's literally all I did was put a space in between everything and then it turned into that. So just a quick little tip for that before we get going into anything else. All right, the next thing that I have on here is my social folder. So in here, I keep my YouTube studio app, which is great for any YouTube creator to keep track of their analytics, respond to comments, pretty much do anything through there. And then we have my YouTube app, so I can obviously watch YouTube videos and stuff like that. Okay, so after my YouTube app, we just have my Instagram app. I'm very active on Instagram. So this is my Instagram, if you guys are curious, wanna follow me. Um, I post a ton of stories and stuff. And then um, I have all of my little highlights and then I'm pretty proud of how my theme is coming together. Very happy with it. Love it. Also obsessed with my room in that photo. I don't know how this photo got so many likes. It's literally just iced coffee. Like that's my second photo ever to get over a thousand likes, which is insane because it's literally just a cup of coffee. Honestly, that amazes me with Instagram because some of my other photos I'm still stuck under like eight, 900 likes, but I thought that was hilarious that that one literally got 1400 likes on a cup of coffee, but I guess it is aesthetic. Um, but yeah, those are the kinds of things that I post on my Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me, it's just at Catherine June and it's always linked in the description down below. Next up, we have my Pinterest app. I think I'm logged into Pinterest. Yes. So this is what my Pinterest looks like. I think it's this one, yeah. Um, so this is what I was talking about. This is my screensaver section. So this is literally where you're gonna find all of the screensavers and stuff that I've been using on my iPhone, on my iPad. I saved a ton of other ones for other inspiration. I'm obsessed with that one and that one. Um, I might change my phone backgrounds to those because they look really cool. But yeah, basically all of my moods for when I change my backgrounds are basically in here. Um, so yeah, if you guys are looking for some inspiration, 
there are all of my screensavers in there. This is actually one that I made. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so I pinned that on there for you guys if you guys <laughs> want one that I made. It's just this chill babe. Uh, but yeah, that's basically where I have all that. I pin a ton of stuff on Pinterest. Um, literally just a whole bunch of random stuff. Whenever I'm bored, I'm on Pinterest. So that is my Pinterest. My Pinterest is, what is my Pinterest name? My Pinterest name is It's Kath Emily. if you guys want to go follow it. So I will go ahead and try to remember to leave it linked down below if you guys want to check it out. But that is my Pinterest. That's where you can find my screensavers and stuff that I sell on my Poshmark. I have a ton of stuff on my Poshmark right now. That wasn't my Poshmark. What happened? <laughs> there we go. Um, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, these are all the things that I have on my Poshmark right now. My Poshmark is at Catherine, no, at it's Catherine June. Selling so much stuff on here. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, want to check that out, I will have that link down below too. So that is everything that I have in my social folder for now. Um, and then next up we have my Kindle app. So I have yet to actually use this. I used to use this, fun fact, for one of my history classes. Um, we would have assignments and there was like 300 pages in that book. And so I could like go into the book and search for a certain phrase, whatever like the assignment was, I could search for that phrase and find out what chapter it was in. Cause there were so many pages in that book. I always got it all mixed up. So I like that you can search stuff for like stuff like that. So that's what I used it for when I was in college. Right now, the latest thing that I downloaded was this new um, poetry book. This is by Courtney Peppernell. I love all of her stuff. This is called, I hope you stay. I think this is a new one actually. Um, but I kind of like that you can customize your font, your layout. Like I have my background black. I don't know, it's just like easier on the eye I've noticed to read something when it's like a darker background and a lighter text. I don't know if that's just for me personally, but that is how I prefer to read my books and texts and stuff. So I do have my iPad on dark mode. All right, so that is my Kindle app. Um, and then we have PicMonkey. Um, this is the background that I literally just created this morning because I was just messing around trying to see how it worked on my iPad. Um, so yeah, that is that. And then we have my shop app. So I basically have my Amazon Prime account and then my Target app. I use both of those quite frequently. I also have an Amazon page if you guys want to check out um, any Amazon things. I will go ahead and have that linked down below. Okay, and then moving on, the very last app that I have on this page up here is my Robinhood app. It's basically an investment app. I really don't know too much about all of that yet. I'm still learning, um, but that is basically the app that I use to do my investing and stuff like that. So. Then at the very bottom here on um, my little, um, how do I hide app? There we go. Still figuring out my iPad. I've had this forever and I literally only used to use it for school. And just recently I decided that I wanted to start using it again. Cause I mean, I have it, I might as well use it. So it doesn't just sit around. So still trying to figure that out. Um, I'm no pro at any of this. <laughs> so then down here, I just have my messages. I have my Spotify. I love my Spotify. I prefer Spotify over Apple Music. Um, let's see. Oh no. Got to figure out my login really quick. Okay. So now that I'm logged in, this is my Spotify. I create a ton of different playlists. So I guess if you go to library, these are like my playlists that I created. I will usually create a new playlist every single month. Um, or if I'm just feeling a mood or something. Um, and then I follow quite a few other people and their playlists, stuff like that. So that is my library. And then if you guys want to follow my profile, um, I think you can just search up Catherine June and you can find my playlists. I think all of my playlists are public. So if you guys want to follow any of them, looking for some new music, stuff like that, I have all of my playlists on there. I use Spotify pretty much all the time, anytime I'm listening to music. And then down here, we just have the Safari app. So then moving on to the second page, nothing too exciting, honestly. We just have the Shortcuts app. Um, Feel Fit is actually my digital body analyzer scale that I have in my bathroom. Um, so I use that to track my progress. And then in here is literally just all of the apps on Apple that 
I keep but don't use. I don't know if you can delete them. I guess I could figure that out. But these are all the ones that I don't use on like a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and then to get this little Apple logo text, all that I did was Google like literally Apple logo text and then like you'll be able to find that. You just copy and paste it as the title in your folder. So let's see if we edit home screen, see how it pops up. It's like text up there. You just copy and paste that. You put that there and then that's how you get the little Apple logo on your title for your folder. All right, so then over here, um, I don't really have too many widgets. I just have literally my screen time, my Google Calendar, that's about it. Um, you can always add more if you have more things on here that you wanna add. I don't really have anything else that I wanna add, so I'm just gonna leave that for that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Very simple, very easy. I will try to remember to link everything down below for you guys if you guys want to check any of the screensavers or any of my social accounts out and anything like that. All right, so that is basically how I organize my iPad Pro, everything that I have on it. I am excited to like get back into using this a lot more. I really only used it for schoolwork, so I haven't used it in the past year, but I went over everything recently, reorganized it, set up new backgrounds, kind of organized everything back in the folders, basically how I use it on my phone and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're curious how I organize my iPhone 11 Pro, I have so many videos out there. Um, I think I should create like a whole playlist of all of my like what's on my iPhone videos. So I will link some of them down below. I'll link everything that I talked about down below for you guys if you guys want to check any of it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.